Russ got there in the end and a fully deserved win. Yeah, I would say so. Um, it would have been nice to win it in the in the 90, but uh, the next best thing is to win it in the uh, penalties. It, it got to a bit of a lottery at the end, but um, yeah, we, we, we were really good. I thought we, um, after the first, say, 20 minutes or so, I thought we grew into the game and were full value, like you said, for um, for the victory. Would have been disappointing though to see that their goal go in, a set piece and conceding from a set piece. Yeah, it was. He, he, it was a good run actually from uh, from Josh March. He, he came round behind on the blind side from the Scottish flick in front of Dan, who's been really good in those near post situations for us this season. Um, yeah, it was disappointing to because uh, I thought we were just coming out of the uh, of just getting on top of them then, and then they go and score. But um, no, great response from the boys uh, to come uh, to get them on top for the rest of the half, and then uh, second half really take the game to them and, and get a deserved goal from Broomey. Good run, a good ball, good run, good header. Uh, and it, like I said, it would have been nice to have finished it in normal time, but you, you know, you take any win that you can get. Not sure I've seen Ryan Broom score too many headers. No, he's, um, <laughs> it, was a, it was a bit of a Blairy moment actually, because uh, Matty Blair would turn up from right wing back in, in the centre of the you know, centre forward position, but uh, no, if he's going to turn up and do that, we don't mind. And also, it must be encouraging to put a performance like that in, having made a few changes, and especially with no Alfie May in the side. Yeah, we wanted to. Um, Try and keep the momentum rolling on. You know, after after Albert Church, the response has been really good. We had two good performances in the league before that, uh, so it's four unbeaten in the league with um, with this win tonight. So, yeah, we wanted to keep as many on, out as we could uh, on the pitch. Alfie was obviously had been out for a while, came back and um, suffered a, a back spasm on on Saturday. He was he was close to to, to start, and we, he was prominent in our thoughts. But um, we decided now to keep him and uh, you know save him for the for the Charlton game in, in 10 days' time. Um, but yeah, it was really pleasing, good performance. Um, I liked us, we, we liked us with the ball tonight. It was really good, best we've been probably all season. Looked really comfortable, trusting each other, uh, playing and moving, looking after it. And um, yeah. like I say, it was many, on many occasions, it was just the final ball that uh, was missing. And Charlie Brown coming into the side, I mean, he hasn't had a lot of opportunities and I thought he was really bright and uh, played really well tonight. Yeah, Charlie was sharp. Was, at the end, he, he looked, um, as sharp in the you know the 95th minute as he did in the in the fifth minute, um, which is really pleasing. It's, it's something that we've worked on with him to try and you know keep his his stamina, his fitness, and his strength up for the whole game because you, you know there's a talented boy there, and um, it was good to see him. And you know and, and what Charlie does is really well is find little pockets of space where there isn't uh, can keep the ball for us and uh, and build attacks. And Elliot Bonds as well, and he's coming back to to where he was. And uh, he again, I thought second half, I thought he was excellent. Yeah, he was. He managed to find a lot of room in there tonight. And uh, again, like a lot of the boys, grew into the game um, as it, as he built as the game built on. He got better. Um, and you know, the, the two years that Bonds is had, he's, he's going to be up and down for a little bit. So uh, it's really pleasing to see him. And he was he was combative. He was good on the ball. You know, red situations and snuffed the, snuffed attacks out as well. And does the manager get fined for throwing a water bottle into the roof of the stand? <laughs> it was a great shot. <laughs> I, I didn't know. Everyone was looking up. I thought there was some fireworks going off or something. But uh, no, it stayed up there as well, didn't it? But um, yeah, we were ready for it to come down if it didn't. <laughs> but, and then on to the penalties. And they were excellent penalties. I mean, it's not really something you can practice or replicate. But they took the, the penalties that the four lads took were superb. Yeah, all good. Um, you know, we, we had a shy of hands to see who wanted to take them. And... Uh, it was, you know, it was those five boys, and uh, Dan Lundalu was next. So, you know, he's he's pretty confident with him as well. Uh, and then on the other side of it, Luke made a great save as he did in this in the uh, this season in, in the 90 minutes um, at uh, Burton, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. So uh, we were confident with Luke as well, um, and uh, Connor Wickham of all people missing missing the target. Um, but uh, yeah, it was good good to come out on top. And again, that's a massive confidence boost for everybody on and off the field. Yeah, it is. It's it's, it's real good. It's a, you know, in cup games you just try and find find a way to win. Um, we did that with playing some good football as well, and uh, that was the most pleasing thing. Another twenty grand in the back pocket, and the draw on Thursday, and that's the last sixteen now. And when do you start thinking? Hang on, we could <coughs> we could have a decent run here. We we could go we could go a long way in this. Yeah, it's, well, it's, it's it's been a decent run. I, I think it. I can't remember getting this far actually. I don't know if. Whether or not John or yourself, have we got this? Before. Before. Yeah, before, yeah, so um, it's always good to win games. Always good to keep things alive. Um, like I said, you know the league form has been good. 
Uh, it's nice to get a little cup run, or you know, obviously you'd want the FA Cup. That didn't happen, um, but this is, you know, this is probably the next best thing that, that we we can go for. So uh, keep it going. I thought second half, I thought you were much more aggressive with the press. In the first half, you weren't so much, but I could see you and Wade on the touchline there, urging the boys on, to, urging the team on to press more in the second half. Yeah, we just felt we were we'd got on top of the game for the last 20, 25 minutes of the first half, and we didn't want to relinquish that. Really, we wanted to keep it going. Um, pushed an extra one up, um, so we had three up against them, uh, pressing, and um, a lot of things fell for us then, and we could we could attack from from a lot higher up. So uh, that was good to see. And, you know, it's something that we we have tried in a few games, um, particularly the Bolton one, um, which we did well at home with. So it's a it's a tweak that we can do, which works. And the bonus, of course, is to get minutes into players who haven't played much football, like Charlie Brown, like Reese Hutchinson, like Charlie Ragland. Yeah, these these games are important. They're um, you know you you got to get the balance right. Um, but like you say, it's really important that we give you know two or three lads the, the chance to to uh, to get extra minutes. And um, I thought Reese was really good tonight. Um, really good. Rags has, has been great. You know, the last few games. Um, so yeah, more and more that we can get people on the pitch, and these opportunities allow that. I suppose when the draws on Thursday, I suppose just a home draw would be what you would want on one with on the team. Yeah, a th- home draw would be what you'd want. Um, I think I, I presume it's opened up now. So um, I'm it, not, yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure. So it's it, it's good to be in the next round and uh, see what we get. Yeah. Great, Russ, thanks very much. Thanks, Mark. Yeah, Russ, I think area semi-finals is Charlton's best before, but that was before the group stage, so you obviously didn't have to play as many games to get to that yeah. stage, but that's probably the only record you haven't broken in recent years, isn't it? So it'd be nice to get to the, uh, yeah, it would, beat, yeah. get to the area final. Yeah, it would be nice. Um, you just want to get through them, don't you? And uh, I think that was the mantra before the game to, to get through. Uh, and on top of that, we capped it off with a good performance as well. So, yeah, it'd be nice to you know, get another record in there. In the bank for the last, uh, get the rest with the rest for the last few years, yeah. and it means a little bit more than your typical Papa John's Trophy second round game to the fans, doesn't it? I know you didn't want it to go through whoever it was, but the fans it just means that little bit more to come to local rivals and get a result, doesn't it? Yeah, it was. Uh, I mean, great turnout. Was it six hundred odd from you know for a lot of Tuesday, on a Tuesday night, and the Papa John's was was a great turnout. So we're back here in a few weeks' time. Sure, there'll be a few more for that, um, and. Uh, Again, you know, give it our best shot and see what happens. But uh, yeah, you know, I'm sure the fans were, were pleased with that performance. Yeah. Just, just briefly, how, how has it been this season? It's a, it's a new look staff now, isn't it? Marcus has come in and sort yeah. of effectively replaced Wade, who stepped up to replace Michael. New goalkeeper coach, new analyst. Yes. Yeah. And you're obviously the one that stays the consistent one. How has it been for you? This, this new look staff. No, it's been, it's been, uh, it's been great. I think we, you know, the staff all complement each other. It's, it's. It was always going to take a little bit of time. Um, we had a big turnaround in players, big turnaround in staff, uh, academy as well. So the club's seen a, seen a real change in a lot of areas. So um, we've all, you know, we've all stuck together, um, and I think you've, you've probably seen the rewards of it now. Um, I don't want to don't jump the gun and get ahead of myself, which I won't. But uh, you know, I think we've got a good group of lads, um, and. We probably went too far too quickly, if you like, because we, we felt that the boys knew what they were doing and we just had to you know, maybe go back a step or two um, a couple of months back and uh, readdress things. And uh, yeah, hopefully, you know, we're, we're on the right track now. Um, Marcus has added a lot, it's been, been great in and around it. Um, James Bitten is exactly the same, it's been a great addition to the, to the staff as well. So, uh, you know, hopefully that continues to progress. Yeah, it's good that Wade just sent you out after a win uh, to do the interview, and I'm sure he's <laughs> happy in there. But we chatted here yeah, four years ago in this competition, didn't we? And it was uh, you did well to get a couple of wins in the league during that period, yeah. and you were caretaker. But it, it it wasn't in a great place then, was it? It was it, it, a lot of progress has been made in those four years. Yeah, so we, if you look back now, isn't it? Yeah, we've made good progress. Um, I think uh, yeah, obviously the last three and a half years, whatever speak for themselves. Um, after a sticky start, then that's you know that, but people. Can sometimes look at things in rose tinted glasses, but they always <coughs> there's always the sticky pellets, <coughs> sticky patch at that time as well. Yeah. So, but we came through it um, and built on, uh, you know, and built a lot of success really. And uh, you know, we've just it's just a case of keeping it going, adding to it, um, and uh, I'm, I'm sure we, you know, I'm sure we will.